Alrighty, here we go. Hey there, everybody. It's a nasty one here again, and welcome back to the next episode of the Heatus franchise here in the end of a full last episode. We got the crap beat out of us 15 to 4 against the wide loads. Wasn't really a whole lot to talk about from that game other than just the fact that we've accepted that this is probably going to be a franchise that ends in failure. Is that two game losing streak we're now on puts us at 4 and 7 on the year. Uh, we're one loss away from being a 500 team. And then one loss after that from being eliminated from the playoffs. So, yeah, it's not looking good. Taking on the B-Wolves here for our third straight road game here out of five on the seed of, on this five-game road stretch, which is our last of the year. Uh, on the mound for us is second-year lefty Tower Hiker, one-on-one -on -one with a 750 ERA and a 183 whip. And on the mound for the B-Wolves is right-hander, their ace, Beavis Ortiz. He comes in tense at 2-1 and one with a 509 ERA and a 108 whip. Peoples come in at seven and five on the year. We come in at four and seven. And Ortiz has beaten us once this year. He is one of our one of those two victories is against us. Huh, all right. Lineup for today's game. Leading off in right field is the rookie Dip Franks. Batting second at shortstop is Jamie Pollard. Batting third at second base is Caleb Golden. He is locked in. Batting fourth, locked in at first base, rookie Jacoby North. Batting fifth, catcher Hank Hart. Batting sixth, center fielder Nolan Lawson. Batting 7th, 3rd baseman today, Jax Trevino. Batting 8th, new addition left fielder Olaf Beerson as he'll give Dax Jarvis a day off. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Tower Hiker. Let's get it on. Beerson now on the team as we do release Buster Biggs, who has started to regress. He has fallen from a B-plus to a B overall. And uh, Beerson is much better fielder out in left field, so that's mainly why we got him. Beerson, of course, returns from his short stint with us in the last quarter or last six games of year number one. He was on the roster b will still don't have a strong offense. Uh, they have really good speed, really great relievers, uh, above average defense, only average offense, and average starting pitching. So, bottom half of their lineup, not looking hot. Middle of their lineup, looking solid. Okay. We're up first, though. Franks, Pollard, and Golden do up against Beavis Ortiz as the rookie Dip Franks will lead us off today. Right fielder hitting 368 on the year. Take a quick look at Ortiz's numbers really quick uh, before we start. Beavis 2-1 and one in the air, one of those wins against us on the year already. 509 ERA and a 108 whip. 10 earned runs given up in three starts, totaling 17 and two-thirds innings. He's averaging just under six innings a start. 16 hits surrendered a homer, a uh, hit batsman, three walks, and 10 strikeouts. Batting average against 235 on the year for Beavis. All right, let's just go out there and try to have some fun today. Strike in there on the fastball. Hanging curveballs grounded the short right at Dexteras. That's an easy first out. Next up, shortstop Jamie Pollard. Fourth-year man hitting 362 with a homer and nine RBIs on the air. Heater in there, 0-1. Heater up and in, also at the letters, 0-2. Fastball away, Pollard fights to stay alive, 0-2. Fastball up, chased at strike three. First punch up for Ortiz, two down. Base is empty for second baseman Caleb Golden, who's locked in, hitting 458. Four homers and 13 RBIs on the year. Strike away on the heater, 0-1. Slider chased in the dirt, fouled off, 0-2. Chased it in the dirt, strike three on the slider. That's back-to-back -back case to end the inning for Ortiz. Bottom one, Knox, Dexter is a monster, due up against Tower Hiker. Leading off is second baseman Freddie Knox, hitting only 231 in the year with six RBIs as he'll face the lefty Tower Hiker. Second year pitcher coming off his first career victory last time out in uh, seven innings. I believe he only gave up two earned runs in that start. 750 ERA and a 183 whip. Ten earned runs given up, uh, 12 innings pitched, 19 hits surrendered, five homers, three walks, and eight strikeouts. Batting average against on the year 358 for Hiker. Lineup for the Beebles today after Knox at his shortstop Hanley Dexteras. Then first baseman today, Steve Monstor, who's normally catching. Batting fourth on fires, right fielder Eves Ayala. Batting fifth, locked in backup catcher Frank Knapp. Batting sixth, center fielder Yoink Sachs. Batting seventh, tenth left fielder Enrique Goyo. Batting eighth, rattled third baseman Henry Hamster. And batting ninth is the pitcher Ortiz. Will not see Hayden win today. He is injured, apparently. Uh, he's well enough to be used as a pinch hitter, but he's not going to be in the starting lineup. And we also might not see Kobe Kingman, who is on the bench because he is tense. Fastball up and then the first pitch strike called the Knox. Change ups outside, one and one. Seamer up, bunch shown and pulled back by Freddie, two and one. Fastball up and in is high, three and one. 
Change it middle in. Out in front of it is Freddy. Full count. Her ball away. Fouled off. We'll do it again. Zoom down and in. Broken back grounder foul. We'll do it again as Knox gets some new lumber. Up and away. High ball four. Good eye by Freddy as he worked the seven pitch walk to start the game. Next up is the shortstop Hanley Dexteras. 298 average on the air. Three homers. Eight RBIs. Speed on at first and Hiker gave himself a blister. Ain't that just been the story of this franchise? That's the third pitcher to have a blister for us this season. Um, first two, of course, being Bale Bozer, our reliever, who just healed up from it. And also starter Carmelo Peterson, who healed up before his last start from his blister as well. Change boy, strike called, 0-1. Pass without an end, strike called, runner goes, Hart's throw is perfect, and he nails Freddie Knox as he guns him down at second for the first out. Knox, uh, two for four now on stolen base attempts this year. So that's the second time he's been caught stealing. 0-2 the count, two Dexteras as uh, tough out has activated here. Zimmer inside, fouled off. Zimmer up and away, outside and high, good hold, one and two. Ball down and in, low in the dirt, two and two. Change up low, fouled off, we'll do it again, still two and two. Fastball up, line down the left field line, but that is foul by Dexteros. Two and two. Change it down and in, inside, full count. Move it down and away, low ball four, back to back walks to start the game for Dex there, for a uh, hiker. Next up is the first baseman today, Steve Monstor, hitting 370 with two homers and seven RBIs. Fastball up on the first pitch is high, ball one. Curve ball in the dirt, low, 2 0. Oh. Seamer inside, struck, swung through it, 2 and 1. Fastball down, popped up, down the right field line. Frank's coming in. Does not get there as Golden actually runs it down on the line there in the Bermuda Triangle situation. Two down, and that'll bring up break fielder Eves Ayala, who's on fire, hitting 381 with a homer and eight RBIs. Change up inside on the first pitch, low, ball one. Zoom it down in the way, strike called, hard throw is perfect again, but this time Dexteras has the speed to beat it. And the second steal of the season, he is now also two for four. One one the count for Ayala. Go ball down and in. Grounded at the middle of the second. Golden over on the backhand. Makes the play in time to end the inning. Hiker does give himself a nasty blister, but he does get out of the inning scoreless to the second. We're knotted up at zero. North Harton Lawson do up. Leading off the inning, rookie first baseman Jacoby North. He's locked in hitting 435 with two homers and five RBIs on the season. Ball away, misses ball one. Here inside, misses 2 0. Curve ball away, skied off the end of the bat to right center. That's going to hang up for Ayala. One down. Catcher Hank Hart up next, hitting 300. Three RBIs on the year for the veteran catcher. Right in there on the heater, 0 and 1. Slider up and in, swung through it, 0 and 2. Chase the fastball inside, strike three. Third punch out for Ortiz. Two down. Next up is center fielder Nolan Lawson. Outside pitch active, hitting 413 with five RBIs on the year. Fastball down and in. Grounded hard to short right at Dexteras, and that's another 1 2 3 inning for Ortiz. Bottom two, it's scoreless still. Knapp, Sachs, and Goyo do up for the B Wolves, 5 6 and 7. Backup catcher Frank Knapp leading off. He's locked in, hitting 500. Two homers, four RBIs on the year for the fourth year vet. Contact first lefty is active here against Hiker. You see him in the middle of the plate. Skied foul out of play on the right side. 0 1. Or see down and in. Chased it inside. 0 2. Curveball away. Grounded the second. One hopper to Golden. He'll make the play. One down. Young Sacks up next. Center fielder hitting 222 with a homer. Four RBIs on the air. You see him repping in. High. Ball one. We're up and in. Strike called. One and one. Curveball up. Skied by Sacks to left center. Beerson over. He's there. Olaf puts that away for the second out. Next up is left fielder Enrique Goyo, who's tense with low pitch active. Hitting 250 with a homer and four RBIs. 
Change it down and in on the first pitch. Strike called at the knees. 0-1. You see her up and away. Line foul out of play on the right left side. 0-2. Tough out activates now for Goyo. Last ball up and in. Foul off. We'll do it again. Good ball down and away. Is low in the dirt. 1-2. and two. Good take there by Goyo. You see her down. Grounded through the middle as it sneaks its way into center. Goyo keeps standing alive with the two out knock. That's going to bring up the eight hitter today, rattled third baseman Henry Hamster, who is high pitch active, hitting only a buck 33 on the year with a homer and two RBIs, as Hiker is locked in despite being injured. Let's see, we're up and away, outside on the check swing, 1 0. The ball down, locked in the dirt, 2 0. Change it down the way, strike called, 2 1. He's going to be down and in. Line to left center. That's going to be in the gap, and that'll be extra bases for Hamster. So that'll probably get home a run as Goyo run. doesn't run all that well, but it is deep enough to score him as it goes into the deepest part of the park. RBI double for Hamster. 1-0 B-Wolves. And here's Ortiz, the pitcher, who's hitless on the air. as Hiker down the neutral mojo. Or him up and away. Swung through at 0-1. Change it down and in is inside. 1-1. Even down in the way, low, 2 and 1. Fastball up, foul off, 2 and 2. Third ball up, popped up, foul behind the plate. Hart is there, just outside of the batting circle. He'll make the catch, and that'll end the inning. But the B was on the board with the RBI double from the struggling Henry Hamster. 1 0 to the third. Trevino, Beerson, and Hiker do up bottom of the lineup for the Heaters. Third baseman Jack Trevino leading off. Only batting one for nine in the air with a homer and four RBIs. Fastball waste strike called, 0-1. Curveball low, 1-1. Curveball's inside, two on the count to Trevino. Fastball up and in is skied to dead center. Easy catch out there for Yoink Sacks as he's already under it. One down. Next up, left fielder Olaf Beerson making his first appearance of the season. Second stint with the heaters here in the series. First bat of the year for Olaf. Fork ball low in the dirt from Mortiz. Ball one. Slider down and in is popped up shallow right field. Out for it is Knox. Second baseman there. Two down. Base is empty for the pitcher. Hiker batting 200. Fork ball down and in is inside. Ball one. Heaters inside. 2-0 the count. Slider middle in, fouled off, 2 and 1. Pass bump and away, fouled off down the left side, 2 2. Curveball hangs and then is skied to center. Sacks there, and this should be another 1 2 3 inning. It is as Ortiz has set the first nine men down to grade him. Bottom three, it's scoreless 1 0. Scoreless for us anyway. Beagles lead. Knox, Dexterous, and Long Store, top of the lineup, do up in the third. Knox leading off, walked his first time up, and then was thrown out trying to steal second base. Fastball away, blew it by him, 0-1. Curveball down and in, way inside and low, 1-1. You see him up and in, is high, 2-1. You see him down and in, grounded at the middle of the second, Golden dives to his right, cuts it off, gets up and fires, nice play, one down. Next up is Dexterous, who also walked and then actually did successfully steal second base in the first inning. Stranded there, unfortunately, for him. You see we're down and in on the first pitch. Ground at the middle. Base hit into center. Dexter is now one for one. Next up, Monstor. 0 for one today. Curve on side on the first pitch. Strike called. one one. Change it down in the way. Check swing low. one one Seamer inside, line to second, Golden dives just out of his reach into right center. Good effort, but he just couldn't get there. So that's going to get all the way to the wall. Now, apparently I hit the dive button for some reason. Uh, that is going to be an RBI triple for Mon Store. 2-0 B-Wolves. Next up is Ayala for one today. Third ball down and in, inside, ball one. Seamer up and away, fouled off by Ayala, one and one. You see me down in the way, outside, 2-1. Change 
Change up inside. Sky to right center. This should be deep enough to score Monstor. Lawson over for it. Is calling for it. Winds up. Perfect throw coming. Monstor tagging. He will beat the throw easily. 3-0 B-Wolves. Next up, Frank Knapp. Catcher is 0 for 1 today. Change bit the knees on the first pitch. Check swing strike call. No one won. Where's he repping in? High. 1 and 1. Where's he down in the way? Fouled off. 1 and 2. Two seamer away. Low and outside. 2 and 2. Put ball down. In the dirt. 3 and 2. Fastball put in. Fouled off. You see him away. Strike. Oh, it's outside, apparently. Ball four. Third walk today for Hiker. Next up, Sacks. 0 for 1. Ball down and in on the first pitch. Low. Ball 1. We're seeing down and away. Grounded in the hold of second. Golden over dives to his left. Cuts it off. Gets up and fires. Nice play to end the inning, Caleb. He will score, though, in the RBI triple by Mount Store. And then a sack fly by Ayala. 3 0 to the fourth. Frank's power to Golden do up. Here's Dip Franks, rookie 0 for 1 with the ground out to shorter first time up. Heater high, ball 1. Heater high again, 2 of the count to Franks. Her ball inside, caught the low corner, 2 and 1. Fastball down and in, bloop the left center, that is sinking quickly. Dexteris though runs it down with his speed from shortstop, 1 down. Jamie Pollard up next, struck out swinging his first time up, he's 0 for 1. Fastball down and then it is inside. Ball one. Curveball low. Two out of the count to Jamie. Slider down in the way is skied off the end of the bat. Right to the right fielder Ayala who moved in literally one step. He'll make the catch. Two down. That'll bring up Golden. Second baseman struck out his first time up as well. Fastball and then is inside. Ball one. Heater high and away. Two out of the count. Slider middle in hard, rip up the middle base hit for Golden as our first hit today as Ortiz has set down the first 11 men to face him. Two out single will keep the inning alive here for Jacoby North, rookie's 0 for 1. Flew out his first time up. Fork ball down and in is ripped into the gap right center field and North is going to have extra bases as that will drive in Golden from first base. As it's going to be a double, or North digging for third actually. Throw from Knox is late. It's an RBI triple for the rookie. 3-1. Heater is on the board. Next up is the catcher, Hank Hart. 0 for 1 today. No. Curveball down and in is low. Ball 1. Fork ball away. Hit the third. Liner caught by Hampster before it hits the dirt. And that'll end the inning. But the Heater's on the board with the two-out triple from Jacoby North. 3-1 to the bottom of the fourth. Goyo, Hamster, and Ortiz do up. Here's Goyo. 1 for 1 today with a single. Low pitch active for Enrique. Zimmer up. Strike call. 0 no 1. Change of middle in. Grounded the second. Golden there. She makes the play. 1 down. Hamster up next. 1 for 1 with an RBI double his first time at the plate. High pitch active for Henry. Two Seamer at the knees. Check swing strike. 0 1. Well down and in. Low. 1 and 1. Four seamer down and in. Low again. Two and one. Change up up and away. Fouled off by Henry. Two and two. Two seamer middle in. Chased it inside. Strike three. First punch out for Hiker. Two down. Base is empty for Ortiz. Over one today. Hiker had how many strikeouts coming into today? Is it just the eight? That is his first strikeout. Yeah, that's sad. Ortiz over one with a ground out today pop out actually and this time he's actually going to single back up the middle for his first hit of the year. Ortiz will reach with the two out bus single to keep the inning alive. Next up is Knox so for one with the walk. Do you see him up in on the first pitch? Popped up foul. Hart out of the crouch to his left in, st uh, in still inside the circle. Makes the catch to end the inning. To the fifth it's still three to one. Lawson, Trevino and Beerson do up for the heaters. Here's Lawson leading off over one today. Grounded that his first time up. Curve ball low, ball one. Pass bump and away, swung late, one and one to count to Lawson. Fork ball hangs on the outside corner and that'll be uh, sent back up the middle hard. Lawson on with the leadoff single. Next up Torino, he's over one today with a pop out. 
Curveball at the knees. Trevino sends it deep to center. That's going to hang up there for the center fielder. Sacks in front of the warning track. One down. Beerson up next, though, for one with a pop out as well, his first time through the order. Right down the middle with the heater from Ortiz, 0 1. Chased it high, 0 2. Runner goes. Curveball's outside to Beerson. Throw down by Knapp is airmailed into center field as Lawson had that base stolen anyway. And then he's going to get up and go to third on the errant throw. And then there's another errant throw into the dugout as Lawson will score. Two errors on the play as the Heaters score for free. It's 3 to 2. Fastball hit the first on the ground. Monster makes the play himself at first. Two down. That will score the run anyway. Next up is Hiker, who's 0 for 1 today with a ground out. So two errors? Yep. No, one error. The error on Sachs, that counts apparently. Okay. Peter inside misses ball one. Foul ball uh, one on one. Fastball middle in line to short right at Dexter's and that ends the inning. But the heaters get a run for free thanks to an errant throw on a steal attempt by Knapp which allowed Lawson to get up and go to third. Sachs' throw to third was late but it went under the third baseman's glove into the dugout and that allowed Lawson to score. 3-2 now to the bottom of the fifth. Dexter is leading off one for one with a single and a walk against Hiker. Seamer way on the first pitch. Strike called high. 0-1. Rubble ball down and in. Strike called. 0-2. Tough out. Quickly active here for Dexteris. Change bumping in. Line to left. Then that is another base hit. Second hit today for Dexteris. He's on for the third time today. He's 2-2. Two for two. Next up, Monstor. 1-2 for two with an RBI triple today. He's also scored on a sack fly. Change it down in the way in the first pitch. Grounded the short. Pollard there. Flips the second. One. Golden on to first. Double play. You love to see it. Base is empty for Ayala. Over one with a sack fly last time up to drive in a run. Easy in way. High and outside. 1-0. Or see middle in. Foul off. 1-1. One the -one. ball away. Outside. 2-1. and one. Or see away. Line foul by Ayala, two and two. Whiffer activates now for Ayala. Change it down. Line to second, one hopper to Golden, who picks it cleanly to first. That ends the inning for Hiker as he gets through the fifth. Two to the sixth, it's three to two. Top of the lineup up for the heaters, Franks, Pollard, and Golden. Here's Franks, 0 for two today at the top of the lineup. Rookie looking for her first hit. Fork ball bounces in the dirt, ball one. Fastball up and in, swung late, 1-1 one one the count. Fastball up, chased high, 1-2. and two. Curveball down and then bloop to left field over the leaping hamster. Base hit for Franks, her first hit today. Rookies 1-3, for three, and she'll be on the lead off the sixth. Next up, Jamie Pollard, 0-2 for two today. Struck out and grounded out. Slider away outside, ball one. No, he flew out, that's right. Slider down and in, in there at the knees. One and one the count for Mortiz. Fastball in the dirt is chased. One and two the count. Curveball up and in, line back to center. That'll drop in for another hit as Pollard has his first today. He's one for three. Two on to start the inning for the Heaters as we're in business. Here's Golden, singled last time up. He's also struck out. One for two today. He's also scored a run. Curveball in the dirt, ball one. Fastball high to Golden, 2-0 the count. Look out now. Fastball up and then blew it by him, 2-1. Work ball down, line through the middle, base hit for Golden as that's in the center. We are going to hold Franks a third as Sachs is the best arm in the game, basically. So, one of them anyway. <laughs> base is loaded, none down for rookie Jacoby North. Tripled in a run last time up, one for two. He would love to drive in some more here and give us the lead. Fastball down the middle. North drives that right center. That'll get the job done. Ayala retreating. Makes a catch for the first out. Lead two runners will tag. Sack fly for North. We're tied at three. Runners at the corners. One down. Here's Hart who's 0 for 2. Fastball way outside for Ortiz. Ball one. 
Turbo ball down, grounded the second right at Knox. He'll make the play to the second one. Dex there is the first double play, and that'll tie end the inning, crushing our momentum. But we do get a run in on the bases loaded sack fly by rookie Jacoby North. His second RBI of the day, 3-3 to the bottom of the sixth. Knapp, Sacks, and Goyo do up. Hiker done here after five innings. He goes, uh, gives up six hits, three walks, one strikeout, and he does get a blister on his index finger, but he manages to get through the fifth inning. So good outing for Hiker. Just the injury came in a very poorly opportune time. And he'll just need to come out because uh, I don't want him to get hurt anymore. Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn it over to... Newly acquired... Uh, let's see what do we got. Yeah, why not? Newly acquired lefty Nebula Piddlestick also back for her second stint with the team, returning from year two squad. She was on year one, signed about maybe a quarter of the way through that season, and then she played like the first quarter of year two before we got rid of her because she just couldn't be consistently effective. We're going to double switch off Hank Hart here and bring in backup catcher Everett Nash. Piddlestick making her first appearance. Oh, she has played this season apparently. She's thrown three innings. She's got a 1-0 record, a 6 ERA, and a 1 whip. One appearance, she threw three innings of relief, giving up three hits, four strikeouts, one homer, batting average against 231, and two earned runs in that appearance, getting herself the win, though. Contact first lefty trade still active for Knapp as that fastball is blown by him on the outside corner, 0 and 1. Slider inside misses, 1 and 1. Where's he repping in? Popped up to center, shallow, Lawson coming in. Just to his right of center here. He makes the catch one down. Going sacks up next. Center field over 0 for 2 today. Curve ball up and away in the first pitch. Line to left center field. Hit well by Sacks. Beerson giving chase into the gap. Lays out forward and makes a nice catch in front of the wall. Nice play, Olaf. Two down. The next up, Enrique Goyo. One for two with a single. He is tense. Slow pitch and specialist is active here as uh, Goyo is a lefty. We're seeing up and away in the first pitch strike called 0 1. Slider down, chased in the dirt 0 2. Tough out activates here. We're bumping in. Foul off, we'll do it again 1 and 2. Piddle stick apparently has never passed the C plus range. We got her as a C plus when she originally started, and she's just never advanced out of this area. 29 years of age here. Fastball line at the middle, base hit past the diving golden. Came in as a 26 year old rookie when randomly generated. Here's Hamster, one for two with an RBI double. High pitch active, curve off the knees on the first pitch, line to left, that is going to sink in for a hit. Two down, two on now, and that'll bring up the nine hitter, the pitcher Ortiz. Will they pinch hit? Let's see. Beavis will be pinch hit for, so he is done after six innings. Coming off the bench is Hayden Wynn, who was injured, but he is available as a pinch hitter, hitting 333 with two homers, eight RBIs. Uh... Ortiz goes six innings, he strikes out three, gives up six hits, no walks, uh, only the three earned runs. It is a quality start for him as he did manage to get through the sixth inning, though. Actually, and I think only two of those runs are earned because the third one was on an error. Fastball low, ball one to win. Who has power versus lefty active? Or ball chased in the dirt, one and one. Slider middle in, foul off, one and two. Tough foul activates as well now for win. Where's he ripping away? High and outside. Two and two. Fastball middle in. Foul off. Still two and two. Slider down. Line to third right at Trevino and that ends the inning as Piddlestick gets out of the sixth. Left-hander Camilla Ken out of the bullpen as she'll take over to the seventh. It's three to three. Lawson, Trevino, and Beerson do up. Lawson leading off. Center fielder one for two with a single. Outside pitch active for him. He's also stolen the base and scored a run on an error. Kent 1-0, he has a, she has a 4 ERA with a 1-3-3 whip, 4 and runs given up with 7 appearances, totaling 9 innings, 12 hits surrendered, 2 homers, a hit batsman, 7 strikeouts, and a 324 batting average against. Not a great year for Kent, but it is passable. Outside pitch active for Lawson here. Lefty delivers, fastball inside, ball wall, strike 1. Caught the inside corner there. Fast bump and in, chased by Lawson and popped the left shallow, le shallow left. <laughs> Dexterous makes the catch, one down. Jack Stravino up next, third baseman's 0 for 2 today. He's flown out and popped out. Change up away outside, ball one. Fast bump and in, and Trevino misses that as he'll pop it up to shallow right center. In on it is Sachs, he'll call off Ayala and make the catch, two down. 
Pearson up next, though, for two today. He's popped out and flown out as well. Change up inside, ball one. Change up inside, misses. Two out the count to Pearson. Slider chased in the dirt as it bounces at the plate, two and one. Fastball up, grounded up the middle. Dexter is back at fields it cleanly, fires the first, one, two, three, inning for Kent. Bottom seven, and we're tied at three. Knox, Dexter is a monster due up against Piddlestick. There's Knox over for two with a walk today. Slider away in the first pitch, strike called, 0 and 1. Pass ball fit in, foul off, 0 and 2. Pass ball down, check swing, strike 3 called at the knees. First punch out for Piddle Stick. One down, and that'll bring up Dexteras. 2 for 2 with two singles and a walk. He's locked in. Fastball away is outside, ball one. Dexteras is also stolen the base today. Curveball down, check swing low, 2 and 2. Fastball middle in, blew it by Dexteras, 2 and 1. Slider away, outside, 3 and 1. Or he down and in, misses ball four. Second walk for Dexteras today, first piddle stick, he'll reach. Next up Monstor, 1 for 3 with an RBI triple, but Specialist is active against him here. Throw ball down, low ball one, throw down by Nash, no chance to get Dexteras, his second steal of the day, he's 2 for 2. 3 for two, three for 5 now on stolen base attempts on the year. Runner goes again. Throw to second, is airmailed into center, and that's going to let Dexter score, but oh, I forgot he was stealing for third, so it's 4-3 B-Wolves. And just like that, both teams advance on errant base stealing attempts. One on the count to Monstor. Slider down low, 2-1. and one. I wouldn't be surprised if that's how we lose today. That's just how our franchise has been. Fastball way strike called, 2-2. Two and two. Ball down on the way. Outside and low. Three and two. Where's he down and in? Chop back to the mound. Piddle stick fields it to first. Two down. Base empty for Ayala. Over two with the RBI on a sack fly. Specialist active against him as well. He is still on fire though. Slider down. Strike caught at the knees. 0 and 1. Horsing up and in. Blooper to left field shallow. Beerson coming on slides. Just hops into his glove. He couldn't get there. First hit today for Ali. He's one for three, and that'll keep the inning alive for Knapp, who's over two with the walk. Ball down low, ball one. Let's see me down in the way. Liner to the left side, right center, leaping is golden to rob him of a base hit, and that saves it more base runners. To the eighth, it's four to three. B will score an errant throw down to second. Four three to the eighth. Nash, Franks, and Pollard do up. Everett Nash leading off, catcher batting 400 on the year. Two RBIs on the season. He was not charged with an error last time as um, Dexteris was going to steal third base no matter what. Heater up and in, strike called, 0-1. Slider down and then strike called, 0-2. Fastball away, blooped off the end of the bat in the shallow center. That drop in for Nash's first hit. He's 1-for-1. One one. Another slap hit for the backup catcher. Now to bring up rookie Dip Franks. Singled last time at the plate and scored a run. She's 1-for-3. Heater inside, misses, ball one. Changeup inside, almost hits Franks, 2-0 to count from Kent. Changeup down and in, caught the knees, 2-1. and one. Fastball middle of the plate, ripped by Franks into the left center gap. Goyo going over, dives and robbed her of a base hit. That would have been extra bases. <sighs> Runner back at first with one down, and that is going to bring up Jamie Pollard, 1-3 for three with a single last time at the plate. Peter high, taken, ball one. Peter low, 2-0 the count. Pass ball away, swung over the top of it, 2-1. and one. Change up inside, popped up, shallow left center. That's going to hang up for Goyo. Two down, runner remains at first. Next up, Golden, 2-3 for three today with two singles. Caleb looking to find his third hit of the day. Pass ball, then strike called, 0-1. Peter away is outside, one and one. Change of out in front of it at the knees, one and two, the count. Fastball up, hard rip through the middle, base hit past the diving deck stairs. Third hit today for Golden, he's three for four. Two on, two down. North coming to the plate, rookie, our sack fly RBI last time up. He's also hit an RBI triple, one for two today. Still locked in. 
Fastball in there at the knees. I went one. Good pitch. Fastball up and in. Bloop to right center field. That is going to drop in for a hit, and Nash is going to score on the shallow base hit. RBI single for Na North. We're tied at four. His third RBI today. He's two for three at the plate. Piddle stick to up next. We will pinch hit for the pitcher. It's coming out of the bullpen. His former heater reliever, Dern Neverwalkers. He's going to try and slam the door. Neverwalker 1-0. He has a 4.82 ERA in the year with a 1-2-9 whip. Five earned runs given up in seven appearances with one save. Nine in the third innings pitched. Ten hits surrendered. Two walks, seven strikeouts, one hit batsman, and a batting average against 278. Pinch hitting for Piddle Stick. Hmm. Interesting. going to be first baseman Dimples Burnside, who's batting 0 for 2 as pinch hitter this year. Never Walker set. Here we go. Curve up and away. Foul off. 0 and 1. Curve about the knees. Line back at the middle. Base hit for Burnside. His first hit of the year, and he'll drive in the go ahead run. Scoring from third is Golden. It is 5 to 4. Next up is Lawson. 1 for 3 with the singles. He's looking to keep the rally going. Slider away, caught the outside corner, 0-1. Slider inside is chased, 0-2 the count. Fastball up and in, skied by loss in the left of center. Going over for it is going to be Sachs. He is there to make the catch, but the Heaters have the first lead of the day as it's 5-4 thanks to the pinch hit single by Dimples Burnside as he is the hero. Uh, we are going to bring in Bale Bozers. He'll replace Burnside. Bottom eight, it is 5-4. Sachs, Goyo, and Hamster do up. Going Sacks leading off 0 for 3 today, the center fielder. And uh, pinch hitting for him is Rusty Bust on the backup first baseman. Batting 200 on the year. Bale Bozer's numbers, he's 1-0. He has a 270 ERA and an 090 whip. Three of his earned runs given up in six appearances with one save recorded. Ten innings pitched, seven hits surrendered, two homers, one wild pitch, two walks, 11 strikeouts to lead the bullpen. And batting average against a 206 on the year. Fastball low, ball one. Slider middle of the plate, bust and fouls it off, one and one. Screwball down in the way, chase foul, one and two. Change up inside, check swing misses, two and two. Pass ball up and away, chased it, strike three, first punch up for Bozer, one down. Next up is Goyo, two for three today with two singles. Low pitch active and specialist is now also active for Bozer. Slider away in the first pitch, strike called, oh and one. Where's he up it away? Blew it by him. 0-2 the count. Tough out active. Screwball up and in. Blooper to right center field. Frank's going over. Runs it down for the second out. Hamster up next. 2-3 for three today with a double single and an RBI. High pitch active for Henry. Change up down and in on the first pitch. Chop back to Bozer. He'll field it cleanly to first. 1-2-3 inning for Bale in the eighth. To the ninth. It's 5-4. Heaters lead. Trevino, Beerson, and Nash do up. Trevino leading off 0 for 3 today. We are going to lift him for a pinch hitter as Murky Nubswubbles comes on to play right field. He'll replace Bustam, which will move um, Ayala over to center. And Trevino will be pinch it for by backup rookie third baseman Angelo Gagnum, who's hitting 250 on the air with an RBI, batting 2 for 8. Curveball way fouled off out of play on the right side from Neverwalker, 0 and 1. Heater away and low, 1 and 1. Heater in there at the letters. One and two, the count. Pass down and then broken back grounder back to the pitcher. Never Walker bare hands to first. One down. Pearson up next. Left fielder 0 for 3 today. Curveball middle in. Line to second. Right at Knox. Two down. Base is empty for Nash, who singled his first time to play today. He's one for one. Fastball away. Blew it by him. 0 and 1. Pass down and then. Chopper to first. Never walk her over, bare hands in time to non store. One, two, three inning for him in the ninth. Bottom nine, it's five to four. Never walk her just due to lead off, so that's a pinch hitter. Then Knox and Dexteras to face Bozer, who's going for the two inning save. Never walk her leading off, pinch hitter coming. It is shortstop Willard Wiggins. And specialist is active against the veteran shortstop who is uh, hitless on the year. Gangnam, who pinch hit last inning, will remain in the game at third base. 
Screwball at the knees on the first pitch. Lock ground up the middle. Base hit for Wiggins as he will deliver. Tying run on to lead off the inning. Bows are no longer locked in. Now to bring up Freddie Knox. 0 for 3 with a walk today in tents. Or Seamer inside. Strike called on the inside corner. 0 and 1. Screwball away. Outside. 1 and 1. Slider away. Popped up on the hit and run. Shallow left. Pollard out. He's there. And the shortstop puts it away for the first out. And Lee Dexter is up next. Shortstop's locked in. 2 for 2 today. He's singled twice and also walked twice. Change bit the knees on the first pitch. Low. Ball one. Or Seamer down in the way. Low again. 2 and 0. Slider down and in. Inside. 3 and 0. Where's he wrapping in? Strike call, three and one. The ball down, popped up the center. Lawson in, calling for it. Lawson puts it away, two down. That's the first time we've retired Dexteris today. He had reached the four times previously. Two down, runner at first for Monstor. One for four with an RBI triple. Specialist active against him as bows are locked in. Slider down and in on the first pitch. Strike called at the knees, 0 and one. Change up away. Monstor lines at the third. Gangnam leaps over his glove into left field. Base hit, and that'll put the winning run on base. Tying run in scoring position. Bows are no longer locked in. Coming to the plate is Ayala. One for three with an RBI on a sack fly. He's also single today. One for three. Ayala still on fire. Specialist still active for Bozer. Or Seamer down and in on the first pitch. Strike called. 0 and 1. Screwball down in the way. Check swing low. 1 and 1. Slider down and in, inside, two and one. Fastball at the knees, popped up, shallow left field. Beerson charging in. He'll get there, and he'll put it away to end the game as we win the season series against the B-Wolves. We finish two to one over them on the year. We're going to take a season series, and we're up to five and seven. We still have a shot at a winning record. Damn it. Interesting. So now the team shows up. We showed some fight today. It wasn't anything special. We did make some boneheaded plays, so did the B-Wolves, but we fought. Okay, so I guess this team still has some fight left in it. Hitless today for us were Hart, as well as Trevino, and the pinch hitter Gangnam, uh, Hiker, and Beerson. RBIs today, three for Jacoby North. He had an RBI triple, an RBI single, and he also had an RBI sack fly. Uh, we had one run score and an errant throw in from the center fielder, and then we had an RBI pinch hit single in the eighth from Burnside to win the game. On the other side for the B-Wolves, they had three runs come in, fourth run scored on an errant throw on a steal attempt, one R RBI triple for Steve Monstor, RBI sack fly for Ayala, and Hamster had an RBI double. Winning pitcher is Piddlestick, getting her second win of the year. She goes two innings, giving up three hits, one walk, a strikeout, and an earned run in relief of Hiker. Five innings for the starter, Hiker, only giving up six hits, three walks, a strikeout, three earned runs, and unfortunately he did get a blister on his finger. Bio Bozer gets the two-inning save, his second save of the year, throwing two scoreless innings, giving up two hits with a strikeout. On the other side for the Beebles, where T's a quality start, six innings, six hits, two earned runs given up, three total, three strikeouts. He stays at two and one. Camilla Kent will take the loss, inning in two thirds, giving up three hits, two earned runs. She'll fall to one and one. And Never Walker, inning in a third out of the pen, scoreless, giving up a hit. Player of the game is Jacoby North for his three RBI day, followed by Hanley Dexteris, who went two for three at the plate, stealing three bases and scoring twice. And then Beebs Ortiz, the third place finisher, with his quality start. Hmm, not bad at all. Not bad at all. It's a good win. I'll give you that. Must say, I am surprised that we actually won that game. I thought this team was just going to roll over and die. Apparently, they've still got some fight left in them. Well, with that win, we're three quarters of the way through the season. We're three games out of first, still in last place. We are at five and seven. Two games under 500. Let's have a look around the league real quick. Uh, Fungo Akuro is off the moose, replaced by Maggie Rags. Uh, Tower Hiker gets plus nine velocity on a random roll despite getting injured. He's now a B plus. Good for him. Donovan Drake to the moose. He'll replace Dick Lucas in the rotation. Dax Jarvis plus five speed after sitting out last game after bout of food poisoning. Jesus Gould loses four contact. He's now down to a B plus again. Interesting. So he keeps fluctuating between a B plus and an A minus. Okay, interesting. 
All right, well, now we can afford some things. Let's take a closer look. He doesn't need power and speed. Velocity and accuracy is already what he's pretty good at. Decent upgrade, not gonna lie. Uh, oh, that's a really good upgrade. Two games. Power and RBI man chance. Ooh. Velocity and junk. He could use that, definitely. But that'll be here next time, no worries. We could get this one. Might just to bump up his ratings a little bit since he is injured now. He did just improve to a B plus, so it's only fourteen percent. We can wait a we can wait a week and make a decision next time for sure. Is there anybody I want to go after real quick here in the free agent pool? Uh, there is Marsha Brown, still way too expensive. Uh, we have Rip Dingers, who's at nine seven. That's too expensive as well. Uh, what else we got? Buster Biggs, we just cut. Rally Overa would be a nice upgrade. Dick Lucas, he's a veteran. Probably not as good as he once was, but, you know, might be a solid pitcher for us. Especially if Peterson's deciding not to show up, we could just drop him for Lucas. For the, for if we make it that far, yeah. Garner at 5'8", getting there. Okay, we're good for right now, though. Don't need to make no crazy roster moves. We did win today, so, which is surprising. Still have a negative run differential, but a win's a win. We'll take it. Moonstar shut out the Salty 6-0, and then in the second game of the doubleheader, they will rally but lose 5-4. So there's a split. Moonstars then immediately go play the Surlins for their third straight, lose 3-2, and then they play their fourth straight game, and they lose again 6-2. So they get swept by the Surlins, falling to last place as they were in first for a brief time. Herbosaurus beat the Wild Pigs 5-2, handing them their third loss of the year. Wide loads hold off the Grapplers, win 8-4. So the Grapplers are slipping at the top of the division. Overdogs 3-1 now over the Nemesis as they win that matchup. Grapplers taking on the Nemesis here. And the Nemesis rally and win 6-5, another loss for the Grapplers. We're now only two games out of first. Sawteeth win again. And then they win their third straight as they defeat the Sirloins 10-4. Okay, things are getting interesting now. <laughs> Jack's Rally beat the Crocs 7-4. They now are tied for the division lead with the Crocs. Moose win 5-1 over the Hot Corners, who just can't win. Sandcats win 3-1. Second game of this doubleheader between the Crocs and Jacks. Crocs split it with them. They win 5-2. Jacks then take on the Buzzards. Buzzards win 6-2. Interesting. It's anybody's division down there. Nemesis win over the Crocs 6-2. They'll take the division lead. No, they won't. Tiebreaker goes to the Crocs. Jacks then smack the Overdogs around, winning 11-2. Extra innings, 16 innings. Crocs win 6-2 over the Nemesis. That will take that sole possession of the division lead. Overdogs then, in return, smacks, smack the Jacks around, 15-7. Oh, boy. Hot Corners lose again, 4-3 to the Herbsors. They're now 1-11 on the year. I feel bad for them. Blowfish win 6-2. Freebooters are going to smoke the Wild Pigs 10-1 as they're now at 8-4, tied for the division lead. Platypi beat the Grapplers. Grapplers lose again. They're down to 7-6. Hot Corners finally win their second game of the year. They win 9-2 as they crush the Herbosaurs. Sandcats beat the Blowfish 2-1. They're now tied with the Salty at the top of the division. Freebooters looking to rally. Almost do, but lose 9-6 to the Wild Pigs, who now have sole possession of the first place. Platypi beat the Grapplers again, 5-1. Grapplers have lost five games in a row. Freebooters then smack the Moose around. They win 9-2. Blowfish win 5-4 and 14 over the Sirloins. Getting back to 500 with that win at 7-7. Seven seven. Overdogs then beat the Crocs 6-4. Nobody wants to win that division, apparently. Wideloads win in 12 of the Beagles, 1-0. No one wants to win our division either. <laughs> Herbosaurus wins 7-3. Wild Pigs smack the Hot Corners 10-2. And in the final game of the Sim, Hot Corners re avenge that loss, winning 4-1. So the Hot Corners sit at 3-12. My God, they're definitely going to be the worst team in the league this year. Um, so we just went from the start of this episode. We were three and a half games out of first. We win our game, moving to three games out. The Grapplers proceed to lose five games in a row. And we're now one and a half games out of first. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is anybody's division. Anybody can win this one now. Holy shit. So you mean to tell me, if we win our last four games in a row, we could be division champions? You've gotta be shitting me, game. <laughs>
Right now, the only team locked into the playoffs are the Wild Pigs. They are 10 and 5. Um, Freebooters are close. They need to win one more game. They're at 9 and 5. Herbisaurs, if they win their last game, they got a good shot of getting in. Moose are out of the playoffs. Hot Corners are out of the playoffs. Uh, Sirloin's at 7 and 8 with a negative 26 run differential. I'm confident in saying they're going to be out of the playoffs as well, even if they win their final game. Uh, Moonstar still have a shot. They need to win out, and they need to hope for a lot of luck. Uh, Blowfish need to win out. Sawteeth need to win out, and the Sandcats need to win out, basically. Sandcats, though, sitting in the best position. For our side, uh, this is anybody's division. Nobody is out. Anybody has a shot of winning it. We just need to bump down that run differential a little bit. If we can get in the positive side with that, we got a shot. Uh, Monster Division, anyone's division, again, they're all still in. They're all within striking distance of each other. One game between last and first. My god. Uh, this We're definitely the weaker conference this year, it looks like. <laughs> Alright, next episode is going to be a matchup with the Grapplers. We'll see our former starter, Emma Hiker, who is tense. And the Grapplers are lo on a five-game losing streak. We're going to be sending left-hander Vern Turnburner, our ace, to the hill. He'll be locked in. He has a 1-2 and two ERA with a 6.35 ERA and a 1.76 whip. Grapplers have Hiker on the mound, 2-1 and one with a 3.57 ERA and a 1.30 whip. She is tense. Interesting. Have we uh, looked previous matchups against the Grapplers this year? I believe there have been one. We only played them twice. We beat them. We lost that game 11-6. Ironically, Turnburner was on the mound for that game. So he's looking to get some revenge here against the Grapplers who don't have their best pitcher on the mound. Hiker is their number three pitcher. And they only have two games left to play. So if we win this game, we set ourselves up pretty good to jump over the Grapplers into the division. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, well, let's set the lineup and call today. Gould leading off at third. Pollard at shortstop. Golden locked in at second. We'll bat third. North locked in at first. We'll bat fourth. Hart's still catching. He'll bat fifth. Jarvis back in the lineup and right. He'll bat sixth. Uh, Franks will slide over to left, giving Beerson a day off. She'll bat seventh. Lawson will bat eighth in center. And Turnbrenner will bat nine, locked in on the mound. And that's going to do it for this episode, guys. It was a good victory for us. We fought back to beat the Beewolves five to four. Uh, with that win, we're now at 5-7. and seven. We're now only a game and a half out of first place thanks to our top leader of the division, the Grapplers, here going on a five-game losing streak, dropping to fourth. We now have a shot to not only make the playoffs, we still have a shot to win the division. <laughs> so there is a lot to play for here in these last three games of, last four games of the season. So stick, come back next time out to see if we can keep our chances of running this franchise alive. We made it this deep in the video, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around. Appreciate the support as always. If you haven't already here on you Twitch, hit the follow button down below to be notified next time I go live. And if you haven't already on YouTube, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Link to Twitch is down in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Until then, everybody, this is The Nasty One signing off. Have a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are.